Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing about what is CMDB. This is a complete series, so one by one we come up with the, these videos which will help you understanding CMDB and configuring it in a better way. Okay? So first of all, what is CMDB? It is Configuration Management Database. So when you see database, it is always a collection of something. So here, in ServiceNow or in ITIL world, a CMDB is a collection of CIs. So what is a CI? CI is any entity, anything related to your IT infrastructure. So CMDB is basically a collection of details of your IT infrastructure. So when we talk about IT infrastructure, it has various things, various devices like your hardware, your software. If we go in software, there is database, database instance, softwares. And when we talk about hardware, in hardware also you see various type of hardwares, Windows servers, Linux servers, so all these type of uh, details are stored in the CMDB. Okay. So now you will ask why this CMDB is important. So let me give you one simple example. Let's say you have a server. In that server, there are n number of applications which are hosted and that server is connected to database and that server is also connected to some other high priority services. Okay, so let's say there is some glitch in the database. It means somewhere somehow your services are getting impacted. So how do you know that with that database, how many services are related, how many things or CIs are related. So when it comes to ServiceNow CMDB, you need to just go to the CI click on the relationship view and you can see with that CI how many impacted CIs are there. So this is also one of the interesting thing about ServiceNow CMDB. Along with storing the devices, along with storing the CIs, it is also storing the relationship between them. The relationship part is ultimately important for any organization because an organization is changing on daily basis, on every minute. So does the relationship of the CIs as well as the CIs. So once you have the CMDB, you need to have it updated and accurate. In any organization, an updated and accurate CMDB help you to quickly diagnose and remediate outages. Minimize the risk when you do some kind of changes. It help you in optimizing your cost, optimizing your resources. So now we have to understand how to update the CMDB, how to make it accurate. So for that, there are various processes such as discovery. So what is discovery and all we discuss in some different lecture. For the time being, this is about CMDB and CIs. Okay, so in the next video, we will go more deep in CI and CMDB. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.